Hey YouTube, so today I'm gonna to be analyzing Shut Up and Dance. Ooh, ooh, up and dance no, not that one. I'm talking about the sinister third episode of Black Mirror season three, which is all about the puppet master trolls of the internet. <laughs> So Shut Up and Dance is written by William Bridges and Charlie Brooker and is directed by James Watkins, the chap who directed the Woman in Black movie. So this episode is all about sextortion, which for those of you that don't know, is the art of blackmailing someone online because you have precarious photos or videos or evidence of them doing something that they don't want people to be seen and the shame that comes with that. So this episode is like an allegory for all the cowardly anonymous trolls on the internet. It shows you just how awful human beings can be when they're not being policed online. So yeah, the story revolves around this kid called Kenny, played by Alex Lawfer, and he is a sort of socially awkward, little bit off teenager. And one night he does what every teenager does. He goes upstairs and watches porn, and he starts having a wank. Bad news for Kenny is that some malicious malware software that he's downloaded has infected his computer, and now hackers can see through his camera on his laptop and can see everything he does. The very next day he finds an email from these hackers saying, we know what you did. They say to him, if you don't follow our list of instructions, we're going to release this footage to all your contacts. So scared out of his mind, Kenny agrees to obey and follow these list of instructions. And this is where the story takes off. Each of the instructions that he's given is a little more challenging and a little more debasing than the last. And this leads us to the character of Hector, played by Jerome Flynn, who most of you will recognize as Bronn from Game of Thrones. Fucking Jamie Lannister. And the two of them become this unlikely combo. They're both panicked, they're both being blackmailed, so they need to work together in order to accomplish everything that these hackers are telling them to do. One thing that's great about this episode compared to the previous two episodes of this season, Nosedive and Playtest, is that Shut Up and Dance feels very much grounded in the now. Whereas Nosedive and Playtest could be ideas of what technology might do to us in the near future. Whereas this is something that feels like it could happen right here, right now. And it does happen because you do hear these horror stories of people being exploited and blackmailed because they're afraid of these you know, images that are getting out to people that they don't want to see. And yet this episode feels more grounded in reality. It doesn't rely on a heavy budget to really tell the story. But the one thing that brings this episode down is that by the end of the episode, there is literally no one left to root for. Kenny, you're with him up until the last bit of the episode because you don't know one specific bit of information about him. Kenny is not the person that you think he is. And because of that, it kind of negates the message of the episode because neither the protagonist, Kenny, or the puppet troll masters can be viewed as the good guy. There really is no point to it. There's no clear message in this episode. Sure, bad people might deserve to be punished, but these trolls aren't above the law or morally justified themselves. So their arbitrary system of punishment makes no sense, especially with the end twist, because in the end, no one gets away with what they've done. Everyone is held accountable for their transgression. So it kind of left me feeling, what is the point of it all? The message was just a bit confuddled. So in conclusion, Shut Up and Dance is a very strong episode, which is spearheaded by two very strong performances from Jerome Flynn and Alex Lawther. Alex Lawther does such a good job of playing Kenny. He's always good at showing subtle clues that there's something more to him than what meets the eye. And Jerome Flynn's great too. Not only does he bring a very down-to-earth performance, but also, like in Game of Thrones, he also adds a touch of comic relief. The previous two episodes had a clearer message and more of an impact. Shut Up and Dance's message, even though it was grounded in reality, the message was still very muddled, which makes for a less impactful viewing experience. For me, this episode doesn't leave as much to dwindle on, which other previous episodes of Black Mirror have done so well. Guys, I'm gonna give Shut Up and Dance a seven out of 10. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you are watching the third season of Black Mirror, please do let me know what your favorite episode is of the season. I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to get a dialogue started with some people that are interested in the same things that I am. And if you like the videos, please do like, share, and subscribe them for more things related to movies, TV, and popcorn culture. I'm Luke Airfield. Thanks for watching. <laughs>